Hello guys and you welcome back. In our last lesson we quickly looked at some of the common plots we could uh, have. So we looked at the box plot, 3D scatter plot, area, polar plot, density, heat map and also uh, bar, uh, polar bar plots. So this time around we'll see how we can learn to customize some of these uh, common plots because if you actually look at the uh, kind of like color bars, how do we change this color bar? Especially even if you look at the uh, 3D scatter plot how do we change this uh, color scheme and how do we do things like that? Well, first, before we work on the color, I'll just go ahead and show you the uh, color schemes. So there's the uh, qualitative and the sequential color schemes. So for instance, if we jump right here where we have our uh, box plot, if we wanted to add a color to it, let's just go ahead and just use a comma and drop down one bar. So I'll use the uh, color underscore discrete underscore sequence and I'll set this to say uh, green so it actually accepts uh, kind of like a list and then I'll set this to green so we just go ahead and run that and we can see this actually changed to uh, green so we can set it also to uh, red and we can actually see it change to uh, red. So to get a list of the uh, qualitative colors, let's go ahead and look at the uh, qualitative list. So to do that, just right underneath, oh, let's just go above it, it doesn't matter. So let's just go ahead and drop it underneath and let's print out a directory for uh, px.colors.let's do the uh, sequential. So if you get back up there, we can actually see some of the uh, sequential color sets. Also, what we can do is to actually get a list of the uh, qualitative colors. So uh, just right here, let's just do a directory for the uh, px.colors.qualitative. So if you actually run this, we can actually see the qualitative uh, color sets we also uh, get. So let's go ahead and comment this out so we can actually have a neat workspace. So if I want to change this to a qualitative color set, so all I need to do is to actually get down here and I'll just set this to my px.colors. Qualitative, and I'll also pass in one of those uh, qualitative color sets we've seen. So let's go ahead and open up our directory for qualitative colors. And let's just pick, uh, let's use the three or any of these uh, colors. So to use the three, I'll just put the dot D3. And if I run this, we can actually see that uh, D3 color set in effect. So if you get back up here and open this up again, let's try the uh, and alphabet on this call reversed. So I'll just copy that and close this. So I'll just get down here and I'll paste the alphabet on the score reversed. And we can actually see this kind of like pink uh, tone. So let's go ahead and see how we can use the uh, uh, color for the uh, sequential. So for the sequential, I'll just get down here where we have the uh, co color scale, continuous color scale. I'll just get down here and I'll just do the uh, color underscore continuous underscore scale is going to be equal to my px dot color dot sequential dot and let's go ahead and look at a sequential color scale we can use so i'll just go ahead and comment out the qualitative and comment out the uh, sequential and we have a whole lot of them let's uh, let's try magma so let's just get back here dot magma and let's just run this and if I just get back up here, we can see we have that uh, magma color set in effect right here. So we can actually see that uh, magma color. So we can actually do magma underscore R 
to kind of like reverse it so we have to invert it and so now it's going to start from the bottom to the top not uh, the other way uh, kind of around so we can actually see this so uh, this is just a quick way or a quick tip on how you can change the uh, color remember the color we're passing right here does grouping but to use colors you can use a continuous color scale and you can set it to one of these sequential color sets and we have a whole host of them uh, a lot of them you can actually always check them out and see anyone you want to actually use for instance let's go ahead and try the uh, burgly i'll just get down here i'll just zoom out a bit and when i get up here i'll just switch this to the burgly underscore r and run it and yeah this looks kind of like copper but no problem so uh, thank you very much for watching guys i'll see you in the next lesson